Hi and welcome back to MRTV. Today I have an interesting video for all of you who are looking for a new laptop that can play PC VR games at high resolutions on the Quest 2 and on full resolution on the Reverb G2, for example. This here is the XMG Neo 15M21, a high-end laptop with an RDX 3080. Yes. So this here is the prior model from last year that I also really liked. This this had an RDX 2070 Super. It also worked well for me to play games on the Quest and on half resolution on the Reverb G2. But for this video, I'm going to compare them on full resolution, the full Reverb G2 resolution, and for the Oculus Quest, the full, no, the best, the highest Oculus Quest link resolution at 1.5 multiplier at 90 hertz. So if you're interested in a new laptop, absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up. Welcome back again to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang, and if you are interested in virtual reality, you should absolutely subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. First of all, for full transparency, XMG is my hardware partner. So they do provide me with laptops like this, free of charge. I can use them for several months and then I have to send them back. Also, I take part in their affiliate program. So if you are in Europe and if you buy one of these computers using the links down in the description of this video, then I will earn a commission. Other than that, no money is flowing from XMG to me. So this is not a sponsored video and all my opinions are my own. All right, but now let's talk about the XMG Neo 15 M21. So what is this? This is a high-end laptop. And for all of you who don't know about XMG yet, XMG produces high-end laptops and also desktops that are geared towards gamers like us, content creators like me, and VR enthusiasts like all of us. So actually these laptops are perfect for us. So this laptop is the new version of the XMG Neo 15 that I used here. I told you this had an RDX 2070 Super and this has an RDX 3080. So nice. However, very important, the mobile version. This 3080 is not as fast as the desktop version of the 3080. Anyways, I'm going to do benchmarks in this video so you will know exactly what you're getting into here if you purchase this laptop. <laughs> so this laptop, you can freely configure it yourself on the website. I'm going to link it, my field link. I'm going to link it down in the description of this video. So you can get this with a 3060, 70 and 80. Now this is the 3080 model. And for all of you yeah, who simply want to use the Quest at their highest settings, right? Or if you want to use the Reverb G2, at 100% resolution, you do want this with a 3080. This M21 version of the XMG Neo 15 comes with an Intel processor, the Intel iCore 11800H. If you prefer an AMD one, you can also get them, check them out on the website. The other model is called E21. Other than this, this here comes with 32 gigabyte of RAM, but if you want, other configurations, you can freely configure these on the website. Yeah, what other differences does this and this have? First of all, the screen. This, the old version, had a 1080p display, which looked amazing. But now we have a higher resolution here, 1440p display, which also looks incredible. So if you want to play a 2D game, right? Probably you want to play Cyberpunk, for example, you can do it here and it's fantastic. But now let's get to VR, let's get to the benchmarks. So I've been using this and this with the Quest 2 and the Reverb G2, and I now have been using them with full resolution, the G2, and the Quest 2 with Oculus Link on also the highest settings, 90 Hertz, and the multiplier, the resolution multiplier set to 1.5, so the highest possible. And first of all, I use the OpenVR benchmark tool. For all of you who don't know that yet, it's a tool 
that renders a very complicated picture or video and then shows the FPS. And it's not meant to reach 90 FPS. So when you later see like low FPS, it doesn't mean that your games will run at that low FPS. It's just simply that benchmark which will give you low FPS numbers. So let's start with the Quest 2 at highest settings on the old XMG Neo 15 with the RDX 2070 Super. And here we get to a result of 13.69 FPS. So here again, Oculus Quest. This is the highest resolution that you can get per eye, 2704 by 2736 at 90 Hz. And this is with this GeForce RDX 2070 Super. So. 13.69, remember this number. Now let's switch and find out what I got with the Quest 2 at high settings with this new XMG Neo 15 M21 with that RDX 3080. And here we got 24.04 FPS, nearly double the result, double the FPS as compared to the RDX 2070 Super this RDX 3080 mobile can do it, which is cool. So again here, Oculus Quest 2, 2704 by 2736 pixels per eye, 90 hertz, and here RDX 3080 laptop GPU. And that is, that is pretty cool, since it means that with this one, as compared to last year's version, you will nearly get double as many FPS in games when you play Oculus Quest at the highest quality settings using Oculus Link, and that is pretty amazing. So how about the HP Reverb G2? On the old model, I could run the Reverb G2, but only on 50% of the resolution. It still looked great and I could play the games, but now I want to have the full resolution to play all my games. So I did this same test, the OpenVR benchmark with the Reverb G2 at full resolution first on this and then on this. So on the old model, I got this result, 7.48 FPS. As you can tell, this is quite low. And as I told you, this doesn't work really well with that old version. So here it is, HP Reverb G2 Omniset. This is the Omniset ed edition, but it's basically the same with the Reverb G2, same resolution. 3,172 by 3,092 pixels and refresh rate is 90 hertz as well. This was the RDX 2070 Super, so 7.48. Now let's compare this with the same headset, same resolution on the new laptop. And here we get to 18.53 FPS, wow, that is nearly triple the number of the old laptop and that is pretty spectacular. So with this result on the OpenVR benchmark test, you will be able to play lots of games with 90 FPS on the full resolution and that is pretty cool. So let's check it also here, HP Reverb G2, same resolution, 3172 by 3092 pixels, 90 hertz, and here RDX 3080 laptop. Wow, what a huge difference. So with this laptop, with an RDX 3080 mobile, you will be able to play Oculus Link, so your PC VR games, at the highest resolution possible on the Quest with the highest refresh rate, and that is definitely fun. Also, you can use the Reverb G2 at full resolution, not only half resolution, but full resolution with this laptop no matter where you go. But probably you wanna know which actual FPS you can get in games. And therefore I also checked out this computer together with the Reverb G2 at full resolution in DCS World, Half-Life Alex, and Star Wars Squadrons. And we're going to check that out now. We start with DCS World and we're going to use the VR setting. So just that you can compare it with yours. And here we are in the cockpit. I'm using the HP Reverb G2 at 100% resolution. As you know, that is more than 3000 by more than 3000 pixels per eye. And we're getting a very respectable 43 frames per second on average. That is really good because you know, DCS is very resource hungry. And 
This looks so good. You know the Reverb G2 is so crystal clear and on 100% resolution, this is amazing. Next, we're going to check out Star Wars Squadrons. Also really, really resource hungry. And here we're going to set the graphic details to not low, not medium, high, not ultra. We're going to set it to high. And I tried this on the older version of this laptop with half resolution and it was just working okay. But here now at high graphic settings at full 100% resolution, this works so nicely and I had so much fun playing this. This looks fantastic in the G2 at 100% resolution and also I'm getting over 40 frames per second here on average. Of course, I could also get more here if I went down with the graphic settings or if I went down with the resolution, but I could play this without a problem at this high resolution and also at the high graphic settings. Now we're here in Half-Life Alex, and I was using the ultra settings here, even though the computer told me I should use high, but I simply wanted to see this in ultra. And as you can tell also, Super smooth, getting over 40 FPS as well, and this simply looks stunning in the HP Reverb G2. Of course, you can also get to 90 FPS, either if you go for motion reprojection or if you simply lower your settings. So, no worries, if you want 90 FPS, you can get them, but I simply want to check out the ultra settings here. So as you can tell, with this RDX 3080 laptop, you can use the Reverb G2 at full resolution with those games, no matter where you go. And I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, what else to show you? Well, I can show you what ports this has. So on this port, you have USB-A port and headphones and mic, then on the back, you got the Ethernet, you got HDMI, and you got USB-C. And very important, this does not, ha not have a display port. So you will need a USB-C to display port adapter. And for the Reverb G2, for example, you will need display port 1.4. So you need a cable that is compatible with that. And I'm going to link a cable that works well for me, the cable matters one down in the description of this video. Other than that, well, on the other part, you have two USB 3 ports and the micro SD card slot. Other than that, this is how the laptop looks like. And oh, it's such a nice display. The webcam is on top, which I prefer to the ones that have it here. And yeah, it's an amazing laptop that I can absolutely recommend to all of you who want to have a laptop for playing PC VR games. XMG hardware is unfortunately only available in Europe. So for all Europeans who are watching this, you can check out the link down in the description to configure your own XMG Neo 15. Again, it's an affiliate link. And if you buy through this link, you will support this channel. And I'll be very grateful for that. For all the, the folks in the US and on the other parts of this world, unfortunately, XMG is not delivering to you. Hopefully this could change in the future. All right, and that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful for all of you who want to buy a laptop or for all of you who are simply interested in finding out what an RDX 3080 laptop can actually do. If it was helpful, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV, absolutely do that now and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.